Peppers and the Patriots now playing the waiting game to see how the NFL will handle his arrest. Peppers is now free on bail on charges that he attacked his on and off again girlfriend. Yeah, he was arrested on Saturday morning. He was on the injured list. He didn't play in Sunday's game. WBZ's Louisa Moeller shows us what she learned from the police report and knew at six some of the moves the league could make. I was talking with the Patriots. Patriots player Jabril Peppers made a quick escape from Quincy Court. The team captain facing a judge Monday accused of assaulting and strangling a woman. Besides the male party's name is uh, Jabril Peppers. Braintree police were called to his house around 4 Sunday morning, where a woman told them she got in a fight with Peppers after sex, that he hit and choked her multiple times before pushing her down the stairs and forcing her outside. The woman did not go to the hospital, and Peppers denied the allegations to police, saying he tried to get her to leave and never laid hands on her. Here's his attorney. This is a case where there's evidence I've already seen that sheds real doubt on the, the uh, allegations, including videotape evidence. Police also say they found cocaine in Peppers' wallet. As we gather information, he can he can definitely be in the building. Like we don't know we don't know enough to say he shouldn't be in the building. Patriots coach Gerard Mayo says the team is reserving judgment on what happened. The NFL will now conduct its own investigation, which could land Peppers on the commissioner's exempt list, a sort of paid suspension. And the league, specifically the commissioner, believes it's appropriate to separate the player from his employment. So Director of the UNH the Sports Law Institute, Michael McCann, says sort of the NFL case. does take charges like these seriously, pointing to unpaid suspensions of other players. The league steps are, have to be married to the legal process that the league has agreed to with the union. Peppers was released on bail. His next court hearing is in November. Outside Gillette Stadium, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Louisa, thank you. Sports Director Steve Burton joining us now. And Steve, if Peppers is put on that commissioner's exempt list, what does it mean for him? What does it mean for the team? Good question. Good question. It's a way of protecting both the player and the team while the situation like this is being investigated. Now, a player on the exempt list, by the way, continues to be paid and can attend meetings, work out on his own and receive treatment at the team facility, but cannot play football, but his place on the team is protected while any investigation continues, by the way. Because he's not allowed to play, he won't also count against the 53-man roster. That's the benefit to the team. The designated designation gives the team flexibility to bring in another body so they're not playing a man down for however long it takes to resolve the entire situation. And only Commissioner Roger Goodell, by the way, decides if the situation warrants putting a player on the list and how long he will be on that list, David. So what are the type of things that actually puts a player like this on an exempt list Inter normally? Interesting. A wide variety of things. Cowboy wide receiver C.D. Lamb, by the way, went on the list last month as he worked his way back into shape after a training camp holdout. But it's generally used for more serious reasons, like mm. when former Vikings running back Adrian Peterson was investigated in 2014 for child abuse allegations. And right now, now, Brown's rookie, Mike Hall Jr., is on the list after pleading not guilty to domestic violence charge. So it's a wide variety yeah. of things that can put you on that list. So a lot of times there's a criminal allegation sort of part to exactly. it. And there's this dance here, being very careful because he's still innocent until proven guilty. But the charges right now aren't great. And Goodell makes that decision yeah. on who goes on.